I see children uh, having uh, three, four, five-year-old kids with holes in their teeth. <coughs> for me, for me the, the, the tragedy is that this is completely preventable. Uh, tooth decay is, a, is an entirely preventable disease. It's prevented by uh, brushing once or twice a day, using fluoride toothpaste, and attending the dentist. And so, so for me, the tragedy is that as a practitioner, seeing kids coming into my, into my surgery, uh, you know, in, in London in the 21st century is, is tragic, frankly. Well, we also have the, uh, London has the lowest attendance rates of all regions uh, in terms of uh, children attending uh, practices. So that's, that, that's slightly odd when you think uh, in, in Hackney, um, two thirds of children, 68% are missing out on free dental care. So last year, a million kids who could have had dental treatment missed out on, on dental treatment. So two, out of two million, one million, 50% of children missed out on free checkups. And it has become a problem. It's become a problem nationally. It's become a problem also in London. Um, we, uh, part, part, and part of the problem is the actual NHS contract itself, so uh, dentists are, don't particularly want to work in the NHS contract. The, the morale of dentists is significantly impacted over the last the surveys that we've had uh, at the BDA demonstrate the low morale of, of dent, NHS dentists working in the NHS. Uh, the system itself is, is fundamentally flawed and, and dentists don't like working in it. So we have a recruitment problem where uh, practices, uh, our surveys say, uh, when people try to, when practice owners recruit for uh, associate dentists to join them, they have great difficulty in doing so, particularly in London, particularly in, in, in high needs areas in terms of uh, oral decay, because it is difficult and hard work to do that. Uh, so